YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today is day two since the world found out that extraterrestrials are real and they are here now. And I, at least I personally am starting to wonder whether they're friendly or not. Uh, just yesterday I was rolling video and heard some fighter jets flying overhead so I went out to get a shot of that and then like up in space or something there was this giant explosion, which I looked at for just a tiny, tiny second, then remembered to look away, uh, and got inside, and uh, immediately all the power went out to the whole house. Like the, at least the local grid went down. I heard some booms, like off in the distance. I don't know; those were bombs, or I think maybe transformers exploding, or I don't know. I don't know electronic stuff, but uh, yeah, and even. Well, the camera I was recording with yesterday died at that moment. Here's my cell phone. It's like a coaster or maybe a doorstop now. Um, yeah, so I think it was probably an EMP pulse. Now, I don't know if that was the extraterrestrials doing or if, like, in the infinite wisdom of our government, they decided to shoot first and ask questions later. I, you know, governments have never known to be short-tempered or hot-headed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what's going on because I have no way of getting news or information, but it seemed like an EMP and all the power is out. So that's why I have a Faraday cage next to me, um, or a Faraday trash can. It doesn't sound very elegant, does it? I don't know. Dr. Faraday deserves a better, better uh, name than a Faraday trash can for his invention. I don't know. I guess it, it functions as a Faraday cage, but I'm using a trash can. And this one worked as evidenced by the fact that I'm recording with a camera right now. Obviously, I've already been in here, and I checked, and the stuff in here survived. The camera I'm rolling on was in here, uh, among a number of other things. And I'm going to go through that in just a moment, and we'll see what I've got. Um, but I wanted to just lament the fact that I've act I actually had two Faraday trash cans. And this one I had sealed up with this metallic tape all around the edges. I had seen... Some videos suggesting that uh, to really survive an EMP, you really have to seal up the sides of your Faraday trash can with tape. So th this one was done that way. I don't mean like just duct tape. This is metallic aluminum tape. So I did that on this one. Everything in here survived. The other one, I did not seal it up with tape. And the reason for that was it was I had things in there that I use more frequently, like hard drives that I would use to back up my computer and stuff, and I didn't want to be constantly, you know, tearing open the tape and having to retape it and everything like that. So I got lazy on that one, kind of crossed my fingers, and it seems like everything in there is fried. I, you know, obviously I can't check the, uh, I can't check the uh, hard drives because I don't have a computer that functions, but, well, here, here's a flashlight that was in there. So, you know, it's about as useful as my cell phone at the moment. Uh, but everything in here did survive because I had that foil tape around the side. So, while this is not the first time I've opened this up, you know, I can tell you how giddy I was earlier today when I popped this open the first time. It was like Christmas morning. It's like, oh, what's inside? What survived? It was very exciting. Uh, but I'm still excited because I've got some of this stuff. So, let's go through some of it. Uh, I've got a lantern. Uh, yay, which works. And this also functions as a USB power supply for charging USB devices. I have one small solar panel that I had in here. I didn't put more solar panels uh, for a couple of reasons. One is because I wanted to have them accessible because I use them all the time. And the other reason was because my understanding is that an EMP isn't necessarily going to fry all solar panels or completely destroy even the ones that it does fry. I guess you know, the rubber's going to meet the road and we're going to find out about that and we'll be finding out about that over the next couple of days when I really get a chance to test them. But I have at least one that I know and it has some AAA, uh, I'm sorry, AA batteries in the back that are in a power supply that can also be used to charge up USB devices. I'm excited about this one. It's a uh, shortwave world band radio. Uh, this can get signals from all over the planet if you have the right atmospheric conditions. I don't have any batteries to run it off of right now because all the AA batteries that run this have been in here for a while and they're all kind of exhausted, I'm sure. I've got to charge them up in my solar panel. I'm going to do that today. It looks like it's going to be sunny. I'm excited to find out what's going on in the world. Um, you'll notice that this is also in a foil bag. Um, I did that just as redundancy. I mean, why not? It fit in this foil bag, so you know, why not have it also 
in a foil bag in a Faraday cage. Uh, here are some more radios. These are just handheld radios for communication. Uh, oh, here's a flashlight that does work because uh, it was in here, and it can also be used as a USB charging device, and this can charge up directly off my solar panel. So, yay. Got one. Got two of these, two extra backup, backup cameras so I can keep <laughs> recording videos and things with their batteries and power supplies in there. And uh, there's a little shelf. I put, you're supposed to line the whole thing in, in cardboard so stuff isn't in contact with the outside. Uh, and I use some of the extra cardboard to make shelves to kind of tear stuff. I'm going to miss Little Caesar's Pizza. I don't know. I know a lot of people thought it was kind of crappy pizza. I think it's hard to make crappy pizza. I think any pizza is pretty, pretty awesome in my estimation. I will miss Little Caesars. Uh, more charges for the radios. Uh, this is a charger for the batteries, and you'll notice it's got, you know, it's like for going into a wall outlet, it runs off AC. You might be like, well, what the hell use is that? Uh, well, I put one of these in there. This is a inverter that, like, you can run off of a car battery. And my understanding, and it seems to be the case so far, I checked my, my solar panel battery bank downstairs, is that those deep cycle lead acid batteries are not really that affected by EMP pulses. They seem to have survived, and I should be able to, even though, like, all my other, like, inverters and stuff like that got fried in my basement, I've got a backup one, I can run off that. And... As long as some of my panels remained, I can kind of keep those uh, those batteries hot and cooking, and I can I can run some stuff if I need to. I checked everything with a multimeter. I have a little electronic multimeter, and that's that's it. That's my world of electronics right now. I'm glad I have what I have. I wish I'd put more in there, but you know, whoever who thought <laughs> who thought it would actually actually happen. So. I guess what I'm, my, my next plan is that I need to charge up all these batteries and... Okay, yeah, that's somebody knocking at the door. That's why we have this. Uh, I mean, it's probably just someone from the neighborhood, but let's check it out. Why am I bringing the camera with me? It's like a horror movie. People making bad decisions. Hello? Hello? sign. Hello? Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.